YouTube. Hey guys and gals, this is Shane Giese at Street Volkswagen. I'm here to show you how to save money on your next new car purchase. A couple advantages I'm going to show you is how to reduce your finance charges, how to control your depreciation, and number three, how to guarantee the future value of your vehicle. So let me explain to you how a lease works. Now it used to be that leasing was a four letter word, when actually it's seven letters. So it couldn't really be a four letter word, but it used to be a really bad thing. People got stuck at the end of the lease owing thousands of dollars they weren't anticipating. However, today's leases are called closed end leases. Closed end leases say we give you a guaranteed residual value at the end of your lease period based on agreed upon miles and normal wear and tear. Sounds pretty good. The biggest thing is how much money leasing will actually save you while protecting you the whole time you're doing the lease. Let's take, take example of a 2017 Passat with average credit. You're looking at payments of 483 a month for 72 months. On the same vehicle, on a lease with same credit, payments are $108 less with your 375 a month for 48 months. The biggest advantage comes here. At the end of 48 months on your purchase, you still have 24 payments of $483 remaining. So you add that up, you're looking at $11,592. Whereas the guaranteed residual value at the end of your lease is only $9,959, which is $1,600 less. So if you want to own this car, which, which way do you think would be the cheapest way to own it? Let's add up all the numbers here. Your difference in payment of $108 times 48 months saves you $5,184 over the first four years. Take into account that at the end of the four year period, you can purchase your car for $9,959 saved you an additional $1,633. So you're actually saving $6,817 if you decide you want to purchase a vehicle through the lease versus just conventional financing. Now, of course, you'll have to pay tax on this, but that's about six or $700. Not a big deal in the state of Texas. The biggest thing is that you control the market value of your car through the lease, whereas the market controls the value of your car during the purchase. This is how this works. If you have an accident in the car and the car is worth less than what you owe at the end of a four year period, you're still on the hook for that depreciation. However, on the lease, even if you have an accident in a lease vehicle and you stay within the miles and the car is worth less, you can actually walk away. You still save all of this money. Take a look at the advantage of that. One thing I want to mention is that a purchase and a lease are essentially the same thing. At any time, you can buy the car, sell the car, or trade the car. So you're not locked into a lease for a specific period. So Shane Giese here with Street Volkswagen and Amarillo. Come see us. Let me show you how to save thousands of dollars on your new car purchase.